Okay, hello. This is my advice for some action scenes. Uh, the idea for the action scenes is uh, dynamism, right? So you want to have your dynamic drawing, uh, or, or, or you will want to avoid everything that it's on like 90 degrees angle. Let's say that. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to make a new layer for this. Okay. So you want to avoid anything that it's a 90%. What you want to do is to slant that, to, to move it a little bit, right? So in this case, you have like this character is at, at this angle and this, this movement is it's almost falling into the 90 degrees, right? And, and this character, probably you can read it at this angle. So you have a little bit of angles there. Uh, but this scene wasn't like this at, at the uh, at the start of the scene when I draw it, uh, it actually looked a little bit less engaging, so it looked like this. And I have the same the same angle and the same movement from this character, right? But this character was a little bit too straight for me. A little bit too close to the 90 degrees so I wanted to have a little bit more of a diagonal on the character so what I did is I moved the camera and now the character look it like this right more let me raise this okay more of an angle more angle to the feet more angle to the hands so the character has her has more like sharp angle here and what i meant with moving the camera is that i am using 3d objects so the 3d object is this one but to start with to start with the 3d object originally was something like this right can you see is almost almost matching the original position I did a little bit of tweaking but, but basically basically what I did is just move the camera to a more dramatic angle right well, one of the things uh, uh, that tells you action in a comic is the distance let me see if I can draw something here. Why can't I draw something here? Okay, yeah. It's the distance between the shoulders and the hips. That is something very important. It, and, and this works for American comics, for manga, whatever you want. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what is your style. This is the definition of, of action. So the the great, greatest distance from from shoulders to hips is when a character is standing in front of you. If the character is standing in front of you, there is no action, and this is this is the longest this distance you can have. But once the character starts running towards you. say that this character is running towards right the distance between the hips and the shoulders is reduced greatly and this is the same the same character you can see is the same height but now the torso is moving toward us and toward the camera so this is what I did here. The torso now move it towards us and towards the camera and the distance between the hips and the shoulders is shorter than in the original original concept, which was greater distance between those two elements. This is why it doesn't look very dyna dynamic.
other thing that is very important to make a character look uh, into an action pose is diagonals on his shoulders and his hips so if the character again if the character is just standing there looking at us his shoulders and his hips probably are just, are, are just like para, almost parallel to the ground parallel uh, lines yeah? it could be drawn in perspective i don't care let's say this is the perspective okay character can be in perspective so you say you will say but there is there is diagonals here well that that helps but still this is like parallel or, or, or it goes according to the grid right so in, in, in perspective each one of these lines if you move the perspective they are going to be parallel like just going in reverse like this right so they feel parallel like they this one feels parallel but but the idea is that in relation to the camera they have cer certain angle and that also gives us the feeling of action so the study to keep the study here this is like the angle of the hips and this is like the angle of the uh, shoulders so you have a uh, very sharp very sharp angles here against the floor so this this pose this pose is a pose is more action oriented definitely than the one before and the last thing that you can do which i think is a, an easier trick to perform especially when the action that you are going to draw is not something uh, very action oriented let's say is just be before the action starts okay so let's say the the ground level is this and it's a steady the, the the ground is a zero degrees and you have i don't know one character here like in in a, in a standoff i'm going to try to draw them as good as i can and maybe it's a, it's a stand a standoff right so this character is like ready to fight this looks like a gear so let's say that this is a gear he's like ready to fight and maybe she's like having here a spell or something an orb of power so he's ready to fight ready to fight and who is ready to fight well probably against this other character that is approaching to her right and he is like Come at, come, come at me, I, I don't care. Let's fight, right? And maybe he also have powers here, okay? So, and, and, and this will be like the perspective. This will be like the perspective. So, this is a pre-action scene, but it doesn't look a lot like action because we have these 90 degrees and these 90 degrees are also defined by this character and this character in a standing position right so this is like the the gravity center of, of the characters and it's very steady very very steady and let's say this draw this draw this drawing is done and you don't have time i don't have time to fix this okay i will give you a very small trick to make this a little bit more action even though the drawing is done it, it could be even in colors in final stage you just shift the camera a little bit you can do it drastically but let's let's do it just a little bit just a little bit make it a little bit bigger so you don't have to draw anything new anything new and this scene looks a little bit a little bit more action oriented than the one before because now we have these angles right and these ones are on a sharper angle 
different than the 90 degrees. And the ground is also at a sharper angle different than the zero degrees. So this, 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 and this feels like the camera, the camera guy did just, did, did just this with the camera, right? So he was like a standing, but for this, this scene, he made the camera like this. And it looks a little bit more like an action scene, even before any action is happening. And you don't have to redraw anything. You don't have to do anything. Just move the camera, just slant a little bit the drawing, uh, transform it a little bit, and that's it. You don't have to do anything new. And this is going to improve the feeling and the dynamism of your scenes. I hope this helps, my friends.